So in order to do this, we should start with our measuring cylinder and hold the tuning fork with known frequency F over the top of the measuring cylinder. We should fill the measuring cylinder up with water and then slowly empty it until we hear the first resonance. Now we, with the meter ruler, we can measure this length L1, the length from the top of the water to the top of the measuring cylinder. Now we've got some end effects up here. So we know that L1 plus the end effects is equal to quarter of a wavelength. What we should then do is empty some of the water out until we hear the next resonance. So that will occur at some height like this. So we've got this standing wave here. So in this case, we can measure this length here. Well, let's call this L2, and then we've got end effects up here. So L2 plus end effects. You can see this is 3 quarters of a wavelength. So let's call this equation 1 and equation 2. And what we're trying to do is find the velocity. We know the frequency from the tuning fork, and so if we can work out the wavelength, we can then use V equals F lambda to get the velocity. So let's do equation 2 minus equation 1. So we'll have L2 plus end effects minus L1 plus end effects. So the end effects cancel out, and we have L2 minus L1 is equal to 3 quarters lambda minus lambda on 4, so this is equal to lambda over 2. So this tells us that lambda is equal to 2 L2 minus L1, and so to get the velocity, V is equal to 2 F L2 minus L1. And we've accounted for end effects there, and so this would be a way to calculate the velocity of sound.